And for those people who are not familiar with the wild man, the wild man is my best friend from childhood. Grew up together in a chemical manufacturing town called Widnes. Our early little rendezvous around the country, going raves together, going in pubs, telling them the slot machines hadn't paid out. We'd won the jackpot and they'd hand over a couple of quid for us to go and get some fish and chips and stuff with. Little car washing deal we had outside of the pubs. All these kind of things. This is what we were doing growing up in our little town. Then, wild man gets in shit in England for a kebab theft. Um, does some prison time in this country. I'm in America. I've been the studious one now. Got my degree. Gone off working in the stock market. And my goal is, you know, think fly wild man out. Maybe get him a job as a wrestler. Anyway, wild man comes out. And he's deported like three times. He's classified as a menace to society by the judge in America. I'm sending Mission Impossible style teams of people through Mexico and Canada, smuggling him back in the country. Um, and he's, he's, he's going on the rampage on crystal meth, staying up for days. We just don't see him for days and then staying up for weeks. He comes back with his shoes all broken, his feet all bleeding, doesn't even know where he's been. So, the prosecutor, when all this went down, we all got arrested, said that Wildman was the lead enforcer for the criminal enterprise. And we'll start out, because we were in competition with Sammy the Bull Gravano back then in Arizona. I was importing the ecstasy. And we had one of our customers... Oh, yeah, I'll just give a disclaimer. So when Wildman tells his stories, he often just throws out people's real names. But in the books... The legal department has made me change everybody's name and even descriptions of them. So if I have written a story in a book and I've called someone Smackdown and Wildman says his name was Knockout, that does not mean we are lying. We're making all this up. Wildman used a different name than's in the book. I just can't remember the folks' names. So <laughs> it's easy to go with the truth, isn't it? <laughs> right. Back to the enforcer stuff. And a woman working for me, her name was Mindy. <laughs> No surnames. Um, I couldn't pronounce it anyway. <laughs> I, had an, I, had, um, I had another guy working for me. Let's call him Handsome Mark. And Handsome Mark was buying a lot of pills off us. Anyway, Mindy went to him one day and gave him like 15 grand for a thousand ecstasy pills. And Handsome Mark says, yeah, you know, I'll get you pills. So she assumes he's getting the pills from me. But he was playing both sides. He was now going through Sammy the Bull with the money. So he went off to Sammy the Bull's group. Using get... our money. <laughs> Cheeky swat. So <laughs> he goes off and buys his pills through Sammy the Bull's crew. As he's driving away from the establishment, he gets pulled over, doesn't he? And the cops take the pills off him. So now he's got no money. He's got no pills. He goes back to Mindy, tells her, here's what happened. Sorry. So she thinks now, like, a member of our organization has ripped her off. And she goes to Wildman. And yeah. I'll let Wildman take over. She basically said, look, uh, I'm upset and I, I don't know what to do about it. I give, I give GM. Well, there we go again. What do you call him? Mark. Mark. Yeah, I give Mark... I give Mark the money for the pills, and uh, he's gone. To, he's gone to get get him off someone else, and he's not even going to give me them either. So he's basically ripped me off. And then, so I thought, all right, leave it with me. Leave it with me. Found out where GM's flat was. Give him a day or two to come correct, because I thought, well, you know, it might take him a couple of days to get a thousand pills and get decent ones. So he might still come good. But he's either, either way, he's using our money. But I didn't want to just go in. And like spark him out if he hasn't got the money or the pills. That'd be just, you know, be pointless really. So a friend of ours comes and picks me up. We'll call him Skinner. Skinner, yeah. Skinner. Skinner. And he takes me over to GM's. We go into GM's. I confront him, ask him what the fucking hell's going on. He just said he just thought at the time it was a good idea. And like, blah, blah, blah. So there's never a good idea, is it, to use Sean's money? Uh, fucking Sammy the Rat and them, is it, really? How do you think that's going to go down? We're not going to trust you ever to fucking again. 
So he went to answer me back, so we just fucking launched him. He was like over the counter there and they had a breakfast bar and I just sparked him and he literally went over the fucking breakfast bar. In doing so, one of his handsome teeth got stuck in my fucking hand there. Don't know if you see the scar there, but I've got a scar there where his like fucking his tooth was stuck in it. So I've launched him. He's on the floor, fucking. We go, we search the house, search it up and down, can't find the pills or we can't find anything. But what we did do is we took his passport away from him because we thought, well, he can't go anywhere without a fucking passport, you know what I mean? We did the same, didn't we? And um, another name drop. <laughs> so, yeah, so like, I get in the fucking car. Like, oh, dude, we're going to have to take you to the fucking hospital. I said, nah, it'll be fucking all right. He said, you got a fucking tooth stuck in your hand. So, goes to this fucking hospital, and, like, the nurse pulls it fucking out, and she goes, what happened here? And I thought, well, I'm not going to lie. I said that I got into an altercation and smacked someone in the mouth. Really, how else do you think I've got a tooth in my fucking hand? He said, there's no need to be sarcastic, is there? I said, oh, me and my stupid mouth. So, she gets this, like, hydroperoxide, and they pour it in, and it's stinging like fuck. And this stuff just bubbles. It bubbles, but cleans it all out. So I thought, oh, that's good enough. And I should have never given this fucking nurse chip because she's got like a rag den, her fucking clean, clean, not like a Tipex. And she's fucking digging in and digging in. I went, hey! She goes, well, I've just got to clean it, haven't I? You know, the mouth's very infectious. You get lots of diseases from the mouth. I went, oh, never again will I give nurses fucking shit. So she's cleaned it all up. And... She goes, do you want stitches? And we're going to have to put stitches in it. But you're going to have to come back tomorrow for the stitches because we're going to let it clean and we'll, we'll bandage it up and you come back. I thought, you fuck you off. There's no way in fuck you out. I'm coming to you for fucking anything after you did that. So I nearly fucking passed out with the pain, you know what I mean? And this is a guy who was like getting tased was his party trick, so that must have been painful. So what I basically did, I don't know if you can see it up close, what I basically did, I just got a needle and thread. If I could, I could so I got needle and thread and put a few stitches in myself. That's the close-up camera. If you want to just hold it, yeah, it? yeah. I got needle and thread, and I stitched it up a bit like that. And I thought, well, I don't roughly know what I'm doing. So I got one of them hook threads like that, needles, and I stuck it in, got it round, and after doing a couple, of thoughts, I like that. We sound like you no, know I mean, leave it at that. But the thread he used was like, it was more like fishing fucking wire. So it was like fucking, it was like that forever. Eventually he had to go to the hospital to get it cut off. So they said like, who's done this? Because they knew it wasn't professional. I said, oh, I did it actually. He said, well, what the hell do you use fishing wire for? I went, what do you think I had in the fucking house at the time? You know what I mean? I didn't like some of Tammy Ball's crew start taunting you then, saying they were going to like. Yeah, I had some. I had a guy come round at the time. I was knocking one of some bird off as well. Um, I don't know what we can call her. Let's <laughs> call her a real name. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm knocking this bird off, cause, <laughs> and she's knocking some of Tammy the Ball's people off too. And this one guy, we met him in prison a bit later on. I caught up with him. He's on the phone to me, and he's like, "Listen." I've heard what you've done with GM and we don't approach with things like that. I want to meet you for the straight and then me and you will have a straight and all that. And he's telling me, look, taking on horses with him, he's trying to fucking set you up. He wants you to get to a certain fucking car park and as soon as you fucking get there, he's going to have you fucking nicked. So he's phoning up saying, I know where you live, I'm going to come get you, I'm going to come do this, I'm going to come do that. So in the end, I'm just laughing about it after a while. I thought, you know what, fuck you, you ain't going to do fucking shit. So fucking, I remember going to this, this nightclub where fucking we were, like, he hangs around. Uh, he wasn't there though that night. So we just got a couple of titty girl dancers and fucking had a few lap dancers. And that was about it. But he kept on pestering and kept on pestering and kept on pestering. In the end, I caught up with him many years ago in Towers. And I said, well, fucking hell, let's go sort that fucking little deal. Like, oh, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. I, I, fucking, I'm sorry about all that. He said... I, I, I've been told by fucking some of the some of the, the heads, like we've got to get you out of the equation. We've got to get rid of you somehow. So I mean, fucking, we were literally gonna dry snitch. He actually told me, 
who's going to get me to the fucking car park, watch me blow his car up, and then fucking have me arrested. So, yeah, that's what happens when you work with rats. <laughs> <laughs>